Do you need an action? Yes, please. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, ba, 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 me, 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 ma, go. Action. Hey guys. Hi guys. What's up? Hello. Welcome back Welcome to back everyone. To all of our subscribers, to all the people who watch us every single week, all the different videos that we have. You are awesome. You get a thumbs up. For those of you just tuning in, about time, right? Finally. You did just something kidding. really great this morning. Just kidding. Thank you for joining us finally. But regardless, we should probably introduce ourselves to we those people. We should probably to the new people. Yes. I'm Sierra. I'm Stan. And you're watching the, the Hardly Famous Vlog Jinx. Jinx. Jinx, 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 So Sierra, so, what day is it? Today is Monday, and Ooh. on Mondays, it's Adulting Monday. Don't turn off your computers. Stay with us. I know. I know it sounds terrifying, but don't worry. We have a good. We have a good segment. I today. was paid to say that with enthusiasm. It's true, like a deferred payment. I'm kidding. I don't get paid. For this. I Anyways, got his coffee. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 On today's segment for Adulting Mondays, we're going to be talking about yeah. relationship advice in your 20s. Yes. Now, this can be people giving you relationship advice. Mm -hmm. This could be you giving relationship advice. It's just relationship advice in general and yes. what you will be either saying or receiving. <laughs> <laughs> you at your age one thing that sarah and i have in common is that we are people we've been told that we're really good listeners and that we give good advice mm -hmm. but because of that we have a lot of friends coming to us about advice a lot of things and a lot of things yes but mostly it's about a relationship stuff it's quite interesting it because it's one of those things where you don't realize how well your advice sounds mm -hmm. until you give it to someone yeah because it, you, you know obviously you observe around whether it's something in your own life mm -hmm. whether it's something you know your friends are going through or you're talking from you know, a personal you know, experience something you see on tv movies whatever it is just observations in general mm -hmm. that's like the foundation of giving advice that's but true. then when your friends come to you and they say oh my god like i'm dating this guy why are you laughing? I'm like, who do we know talks like that? I don't know, <laughs> but for we need to drop them. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy. Fucking Stacy. There's oh my God. Sierra, Guys. I'm like dating this guy and he's being such a jerk. Like he won't tell me like, you know, when he, when his work schedule is, cause like I really want to spend time with him and like plan things and he won't talk to me. Stacey like Stacy sounds like an intellectual. She right. sounds so smart. And he's like, what the fuck? Why won't he communicate with me? <laughs> and you're just like, don't ever talk like that. Don't ever talk. <laughs> if you have a whiny type of friend in, you know, in your life There's like that, always that one person. It is. And usually, um, I bet it's something that they've talked to you about several, several times. And they like just can't this, crack the yeah. code. They're just like, why exactly. is communication such a big... Communication is a huge part is. of being in a relationship, regardless it really if it's romantic or not. But it's like, if this person still can't understand why, mm -hmm. you know, it's probably because they have not addressed their own issues and feelings towards the person that they're dating. It's true. They're probably coming to you like, why the fuck is he being such a jerk? Why the fuck is she being so rude to me and not answering me back? Well, I'm like, well, bitch, did you even press send usually in that sense they're the type of people who send like a text message a minute later hello where are you yeah. another message and it's just a bop 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 and then it goes into paragraphs and, and it's, it's like, like no one wants to respond to that i'm sorry no one likes someone clingy exactly let's be honest it's it's just a matter of like okay well when's the last time you had a real conversation yeah. with them what do you mean had a conversation with them like i talked to them like last week Last week. Last week. That's not a relationship. That's not a relationship. That's like well, not what even did acquaintances. You, what did you talk about? Oh, well, you know, we talked about, you know, the food at the restaurant we were at and like what movie we were going to see and, you know, just about like, you know, our days and things like that. Okay, but did you actually like talk about anything meaningful? Yes. Anything like, that would make him make him like want to talk more in detail with you or on a more on a daily basis or some type of purpose behind it it's like um well it's really hard to talk to him sometimes like i don't even know and it's like okay stacy stop right there stop stop right now stacy cut it while you're just, at it just, just stop Please um stop. it's clearly obvious that you guys have a major communication problem True. i know that's why i'm coming to you with advice you dumb hoe Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay, also Stacy in this situation. First of all, I bet you anything it's one of those things where she's texting him. Yeah. 
Okay, first of all, you can't build a relationship by texting. You have to call. No matter if it's you every day. You have to say, hey, you know. You have to try to meet at, in person because you can't get to know someone day like that. isn't communicating. Ask no. about, you know, what their interests, their, yes. their thoughts on certain subjects. You know, having a meaning, meaningful conversation. Yes. You know, that is something you that would get You can start it in that way in like something small. You know? Like, oh my God, the day's perfect. We should go hiking. Or, hey, guess what? I had a sandwich for lunch and stuff and it was at the cafe we went to last week. Start or, start the conversation. Or it's like, it's hey, I was at the bookstore and I saw this and I remember that this is your favorite author. You know, yeah. we should probably try yeah. to like see, you know, if there's any reading That's happening or something. That's how you build them into That's communication, how into conversation, Stacey. Like taking an interest in what it is that they actually like and then, yes. you know, taking the next step and really being invested in that and getting their thoughts and opinions that's how you have great communication mm -hmm. if every single time you guys talk and he just responds with like yeah okay uh-huh yeah. mm -hmm. that's yeah no that's that's he's no. not he's not paying that, attention he's not really interested in he's no. he's just not in TV. he's just not, <laughs> <laughs> he's not also it's also in a sense of what do you really have in common with him okay yeah. start off there what are your common interests and what are his interests and how do you get because you know it could be an opposite of tracks thing which is hard because then you guys have to like you know you guys have to meet somewhere in the middle mm -hmm. and even if you guys do have a lot of stuff in common you still have to put the edge in there you to actually to go the there you know into you do. actually you talking about to. it if you just like him because he's hot and he chose you out of like 20 other girls at the club that that's not you know that's not. That's that's, that's not, not a relationship. That's that's a hit it and you know that's come back it. when you're horny again. That's he, what honestly He just what thinks is. you're a great fuck. That's it's that's true. what it is. He's and he's only taking you to lunch because you know he has twenty minutes left of his lunch and mm -hmm. he's thinking he can get a quick quickie. You true. Know? True. Yeah. And afterwards. Who am I kidding? Who who are you kidding? He's going to the gym afterwards. He's going to the gym. If it turns into a situation where it's a friend coming to you for advice and they don't know where they are in their relationship, if it's a relationship and. Especially even if it hasn't even blossomed into a relationship, mm -hmm. they're still just talking, but they don't know where they're at. First of all, you have to get all the facts. Second of all, you have to make sure they know what they want. Yeah. Because regardless if you're starting a relationship or you're in one, because people change still. You have to be upfront. If you, you just do. got out of a relationship and you're not looking to get into another relationship, but somebody comes along and it's like the yeah, golden you, apple, the, like, right? Yeah. The one person who's like, oh my god, you know, like we should date, and you Prince get to know Charming him and whatnot, and but like yeah. you are just still so unsure about this whole relationship thing, yeah. and they're like in your face about it, then you need to step back and be like, okay, um, this isn't working for me. I it's really not. like you, but this isn't working because. I'm going to grow to resent you if you keep shoving mm -hmm. relationship, relationship, mm -hmm. relationship down my throat. As well as- And it, I know. just want to date. Like that's yeah. all I want to do right now. And you have to be upfront with that mm -hmm. person. And first of all, if you just got out of a relationship, you shouldn't even be dating right now. Exactly. You should be taking time to reintroduce yourself to yourself. A lot of people can't stay single when they get out of a relationship. They don't know how to be single. And it's the important, it's the most important lesson you'll learn in your How are you supposed well. to take care of somebody else or be there for somebody else if you can't even be there for you or take care of yourself. If you can't stand your own presence and being alone with your own thoughts, what gives you the right to do that with someone else? So, because well, that person will become a crutch. Be wary that sometimes certain things that you say people take to heart, whether mm -hmm. it's good or bad. If you say something that may sound like it's actually pretty good, but you were just joking yeah. because you know you had a thought in the middle of your own advice giving um just just beware that you may single-handedly destroy the relationship it's true um if you say something that you know like if somebody comes to you for advice on how to deal with you know somebody who seems not interested in them mm -hmm. and like even though they are exclusive or if they're not exclusive they're dating but it doesn't seem like they're really focused on mm -hmm. like getting to know them don't automatically assume that you know they're cheating no. That's like the worst thing you can do. Unless it you is. have proof, you know, unless you yeah. hired your own private investigator or like yeah. took or some spy you know course people who know him it. or her and they sleep around a lot or they talk around a lot and stuff and you just know. Just be careful with that. Just be, it's true. Just be careful with how you word things. Because some people uh, honestly are just lone wolves. Some people are scared of commitment and are really big in the moment, but once that moment's gone and you're not together, it, it's like a whole different person. Yeah. So it's just a matter of being sure of what you want, so then you can get what you want from them. 
mm -hmm. and not feel like you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Also, if you are a friend and you recognize a toxic relationship from the get-go, be honest. Be honest. Be honest. And that's the time where you're yeah. like, you, you got to yes. learn about Now, here's it. the thing. They'll either realize mm -hmm. that or they won't. And not the fact that they just really won't, but they will, of course, find every reason to stay with them because... The heart is very complicated, you know, love is very complicated. And so I would suggest be there for them. Know that, you know, that, hey, you have a friend here, but I'm letting you know this is not a good relationship for you for these reasons. And actually give examples. Yeah. Give examples. If you can give examples from a past relationship that they had and whatnot and look at the cycle, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, if mm -hmm. you enjoyed everything that we talked about today or just like on looking at Mondays, us. and you're just, you know, right? Yeah, they like if you just enjoy <laughs> the sound of our voice, our go central underneath voices. Underneath the video, click the subscribe button. That means that you want to see us every single Monday talking about whatever it is that we want to talk about on adulting mondays and right over here there's a little like button so push that click push that click that if you like this <laughs> oh, you video gotta touch this you some gotta people, touch it some people touch screens touch screen. hey, those were awesome i think oh, yeah. but fingerprints anyway like the button <laughs> and in between this it's there, the comment section yes. that's where you tell us whether you know you want us to talk about a certain topic on adulting mondays want to just give us a shout out or share your own experiences about giving advice to people giving relationship advice to people who are in their 20s or mm -hmm. you know people giving you relationship advice that's yeah, all that put it in the comment section please put it in yeah. we love reading things so by all means we love reading things <laughs> love reading also things. follow us on social media exactly. we are on Instagram Twitter, Twitter and, and Snapchat. Snapchat we should get on that we need to get on yeah. that so remember just kidding we're on that already <laughs> <laughs> so remember subscribe like, like comment, comment follow us and we'll see you next week exactly shall we do an outro yes Yes, we'll do an outro. Okay, so I'm going to do a Times Square tap dance, okay? I'm going to tap dance. I brought my tap shoes, okay? I want you to get on the harness. There's a harness over here, guys. So you're going to get on the harness. You're going to fly in like, you know, like circus stuff. No, could get, okay, yeah, go put it on. You're going to put it on, right? Put it, I, I have my G-string.